A great template for prayer, I've got to go quickly, is I want you to, to do this. Like if you're new to prayer, the, this is a great way to start prayer. The first thing is start with gratitude. The Bible says, enter his courts with thanksgiving. Like, like, enter, like I'm just going to be thankful and I'm going to thank you, God, for everything that you've done in my life. I'm going to praise you and I'm going to give you glory. Come on, we begin to give God gratitude. Come on, I'm not just coming to God and saying, God, this is what I need from you. God, I, I'm coming to you and I'm saying, God, I'm thankful for all that you've already done for me. Like, you're such a good God. You've done so much in my life. Zig Ziglar said this, gratitude is the healthiest of all emotions. The more you express gratitude for what you have, the more likely you will have even more to express gratitude for. You can thank God. God, thank you that I woke up this morning. Thank you, God, that I'm healthy. Thank you, God, for my family. Thank you, God, for a warm bed. Like, it's amazing when you start going down the list of things that you're thankful for, how much you have to be thankful for. Second thing I would tell you if you're new to prayer is to ask him for whatever's on your heart. You know, we can ask. The Bible says to ask, and it will be given. So I ask God, God, this is what's going on in my life. I need your help. I need your help in this area. Like, you can ask God for whatever it is that's on your heart in Philippians 4, 6, it says, Be anxious for nothing, but in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving. Listen, let your request be made known to God. Third thing I would tell you is to listen and read. Like I think sometimes we think of our Bible read over here and our prayer over here, right? Like they're two different categories. Can I tell you that reading God's word is an act of prayer? Why? Because he speaks to me through his word. When I listen, when I open my heart, what he wants to speak to me through his word. It it says that your word is a lamp into my feet. It's a light into my path. What God is directing me and God is leading me through his word. Can I tell you, it's consistently being his word that makes a difference in your life. So when I open it, maybe you're like, man, every time I open the word, I I just, I, I open the Bible. I don't understand anything. Prepare your heart. Open the word and say, God, speak to me. Holy Spirit, I pray that you would show me something in your word that would change my life, that would transform me. We listen and we read. This is how we spend time with God. And the last thing I would tell you is to meditate. Meditate on his word. Meditate on what God is saying. Meditate on what he spoke to you in your quiet time. Psalms 1-2 says, but his delight is in the law of the Lord and On his law, his precepts, and his teachings, he habitually meditates, listen, day and night. So I don't just get it done and then I'm I'm out. Checked off the list and I'm out. No, I spend time thinking about God's word. The last thing I would tell you is that you need a place of prayer. You need a place where you spend time with God. For me, it's early in the morning before everybody else wakes up in a leather recliner in my living room with a cup of coffee. And that's my place of prayer. That's where I spend time with God. That's what it looks like for me. But what is your place of prayer? Maybe it's, maybe you're, you've got young kids and the only time that you have any quiet time is in five minutes in the shower. Well, that's your place of prayer. Maybe it's in the car because everything's so busy in life and I just need to, God, the only time I can just just focus on you is, is in the car. Maybe it's on a walk. I would say this, that whatever it is, just be consistent. Just consistently pray. It's a conversation and every conversation brings me closer to God. I would say this, when it comes to prayer, keep it simple Keep it real and keep it up. Keep it simple. Keep it real. You don't have to be somebody else. And keep it up.